Hi, this is Dr. Randy Doom, and this is part two of the hip swing and the problems that occur with that. Now, specifically, you have two spots on your leg, and that's referred to as the lesser trochanter and the greater trochanter. Now, onto the little bump or the lesser trochanter attaches the hip flexors that are attached to your low back. And onto the big bump, or the greater trochanter, attaches the lateral rotators of your hip, primarily the piriformis muscle and the gluteus medius. Now, involved with those two areas is also the iliolumbar ligament. That is the biggest ligament in your body. And attaches onto your low back, from there onto the top of your ilium or your hip bone. So now, when you get back to the fact that your hip doesn't move, then that sets up a sequel of events where that iliolumbar ligament becomes taut every time you swing. And eventually, that will just blow your disc right out. In fact, I have a client right now that has tremendous restriction in his hips and he's having uh, tremendous low back discomfort and shoulder discomfort as a result of it. So it's critically important that you understand the components that are involved here, which are numerous, and that it's a, and that it's a movement that is coordinated. And so if you're, if, you're, if you're not able to get around on the ball, it's not the fact that you need to change your swing or you need to exercise more, you physically need to have those tendons released so your hips will then loosen up and allow your natural swing to go through its normal motion. Otherwise, if you continue to, to do it, you just, all it does is just like pouring salt on a wound. It just aggravates the condition until the, you get to such a point where you'll just fall over, you know, with raging back pain, and that's already happened to a few people. So uh, stay tuned for more info from Dr. Randy Doom. And remember, you always want to look, feel, and act years younger.